Good morning guys. Uh, today is Tuesday. By the time you see this, I will be about uh, 12 hours into a three day fast. That is my longest fast ever attempted, but I'm closing out October fast strong. So what that means is today is an eating day. So I will take you through what I'm eating today. Um, it's going to be a little bit different because I didn't meal prep. Since today was the only day this week that I was going to be eating, I didn't think it made much sense to meal prep on Sunday. So I'm actually going to be cooking and making my food the same day I'm going to eat it. What? I'm having a burger today along with some other snacks and I'm really excited. I'm closing out the day with some ice cream to kind of kick off my fast. I go live every day, 9.30 a.m. Eastern over on my other YouTube channel. It's called Watch Autumn. I'll put a link to it here. If you just want to see how I'm doing with the fast, I weigh in every single day. It's a great place to just catch up and see where I am every single day. I hope to see you there. Okay, but for now the usual, work, 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 and I will be drinking some Zip Fizz soon because it'll be time to exercise. I'm weightlifting today. Okay guys, it is almost time to work out, so you know what time that is. It is Zip Fizz time, and today we are having, bam, pink lemonade. I could already tell by the color of the tube. It is pink lemonade, one of my absolute favorite flavors. Easy does it. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it. Like, this is the last zip fizz you're gonna have, like, for like four days, what? That's right, my three-day fast is just like water and electrolytes only, like hardcore, no sweeteners, no anything. This is the last zip fizz. Three, two, one. All right, you can't shake it and be sad, okay. To go in hardcore. Oh my goodness. I miss you already. <laughs> Madeline, you gonna be a good girl? Madeline, look at mommy. Madeline, look at mommy. No, you're looking at Bubby. Hi, Milton. Hi, Bubby. Sit. Oh, stretch. Good boy. Good boy, Ploppy McPlopperson. Good boy. Milton, give me paw. <laughs> okay, that was the laziest paw I've ever seen. Good boy. Oh, Bubby. Give me a paw. Good boy. Good boy, Tinky. I know. Say, I give you paw, you give me food. That's how this works. I know, Bubby. I know, paw. Good boy. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, Bubby. I had to get sun up. I'm doing double duty. I'm on my YouTube. You guys, I totally said I was gonna make a meal prep video this past week and I just plain didn't. You know why? Cause I didn't meal prep, okay? <laughs> Um, I realized that I'm only eating one day this week and I was like there's no there's no need to prep for that You just cook on the day you're gonna be eating it. So okay guys as usual I've really come to like breaking my fast with just some almonds. So I am currently fasted right now 39 hours um, the last time I ate was on Sunday evening uh, and now I am ending that fast I feel great per the app. This is the app. It's called Zero, Z-E-R-O. Uh, I am ending it with some almonds. These are just roasted salted almonds. Mm. I'm having two ounces. I'm gonna finish off some water and then I'm gonna do some work and then come back and actually make my lunch, which is blowing my mind right now. And now we are confronted with the seedy underbelly of cooking your food the day you make it. It is noon and I am hungry right now. But do I get to eat right now? No, cause I gotta make a burger. Cause my burger's not done yet. So I have just heated up a pan on the stove and this is a Costco 
grass-fed burger. Just gonna cook this till it's done, put some salt on it, and then I'm going to have a bunless burger in like 10 minutes. Not in two minutes, 10 minutes. So I'm a little salty about that, pun intended. Hashtag Spongebob 2,000 years later, I finally have my burger in a bowl. Now this is just a burger on top of a bed of lettuce. You saw I put some American cheese and some bacon bits on there. Then I just added some mayo, mustard, and hot sauce. And this is gonna be amazing. Mmm, mmm. I was right. Now you guys, honestly, I can't taste the difference between this and if I would have heated this burger back up in the microwave. I mean, it legit tastes the same. And if I had to do six of these, then yeah, meal prep is definitely the way to go. I also have here a serving of pork rinds with some spinach and artichoke dip. So I'm gonna eat these for lunch. And then I got some snacks for when I get back and I'm excited. Oh, also Sprite Zero. Okay, I am back finishing up the majority of my calories with keto bars. These are my favorite things. This is salted caramel. This is chocolate chip cookie dough. I have a code for perfect keto. I will put it on the screen now as well as there will be a link in the description box below. I have enough room in my macros for both of these bars and I'm gonna eat both of them. But right now I will share the salted caramel with you. Look at this. I love the delicious uniformity. Mm. It's chalky, it's chewy, it's caramelly, it's salty. I mean, I love this texture. Comment down below, have you had the keto bars? Do you like the texture? Crumbly, mm. I'm here for it. Okay guys, we are nearing that time where my eating window is going to close and I'm gonna start my 72 hour fast. To go out on top, I am having enlightened ice cream. This flavor is Snickerdoodle. It's been sitting out for about two hours at this point. You know how I do. I mean, this stuff can sit out just for so long and still be a great consistency. Oh my gosh, it looks Snickerdoodle. I don't know if you, you'll be able to see the color differential there, but you know, I see specks in here. Let's see what this is talking about. Wow. That really tastes like a Snickerdoodle. That is great. I am gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna eat nothing else until Saturday morning. I feel strong though. I feel encouraged. I feel capable. I also feel that this is delicious. Once again, if you wanna check in with me daily, I go live at 9.30 a.m. every single morning on my channel, Watch Autumn. I'll put a link in the description box below. Also, by the time I end this challenge, it'll be no excuses november that is right we have another challenge coming up and it's called no excuses november and basically what it is my paper's all bent basically what it is is you just come up with five goals and you do them every single day and you put cute little stars here or stickers or whatever you want you can check it off if you want but basically something to encourage you to meet five small goals every single day during the month of november this tracker is available on my website www.watchautumnketo.com. You can either have it as a Word document where you can just download it and print it, or I have the raw Excel file if you want to reformat it in any way, www.watchautumnketo.com. Go ahead and print it out, write down your goals, and get ready to go in November. My goals for November, exercise every day. I have no problem with that at all. 64 ounces of water, that's gonna be a challenge because we know I, I don't drink water like I should. Practice my Spanish. Once again, this doesn't have to be all weight loss related. Like what are you gonna do to be a better you in November? You know what I'm talking about? Track food. I normally don't have trouble doing this during the week, but on the weekends, I've been really bad. So I'm looking forward to reining that in on the weekends and then stay under calories. I mean, hello, let's just get back to basics. You know, like stop overeating. If you're overeating, stop it, you know? That's what I need to work on in November and I'm going to give myself a star every single day I do it right. 
Once again, you can find that on my website, www.watchautumnketo.com. And that's it, you guys. I am going to eat my delicious ice cream. I'm going to watch TV for a little bit. And I'm going to get myself hyped for the rest of the week. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.